The occasion that we eliminate the lines, the most captivating star I accept is the star that could be staggering in our sky. It is this one Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red supergiant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would loosen up to the orbit of Jupiter. It's colossal, exceptionally temperamental, and going to explode. It's not so clear as it seems by all accounts to be in the universe. These monstrous occasions like the most ridiculously feared starburst could shake all that we see and don't see to its core. Yet, Betelgeuse is viewed as a sign, a red supergiant star that is on numerous occasions more massive than our sun. Brian Cox and other astronomers figure it could go supernova at any moment. People are generally terrified of what will happen because the James Webb Space Telescope is taking dazzling photographs of the star. When will Betelgeuse become a supernova and what kind of impact will it have on Earth? Let us sort out a star in the constellation or Betelgeuse shines so brilliantly that even people from a surprisingly long time ago have seen it. The prominent star Betelgeuse is located on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is the second greatest star in the constellation Orion. Its name comes from this part, the Betel shoulder. It is one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being very bright, the star is also an unusual shade of red, which as we will see means trouble. We've had some critical awareness of Betelgeuse for a long time. A Greek scientist named Tau Bra also studied it around that time. The only thing people knew about stars was their color. Tau Bra said that Betelgeuse was an orange color. Scientists have been studying the star much more closely lately and now have a good idea of what works. One of these qualities is that the star changes brightness a lot. With an apparent magnitude of 0.6, Betelgeuse is a variable star, which means that its brightness changes over time. However, Recently, experts have gained some new valuable insights about the star. In 2019, scientists first observed that Betelgeuse was acting unusually. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse didn't completely stop shining, it wasn't the same since it had become significantly less bright, shining at a magnitude of around 1.6. Analysts quickly began to explore why they were seeing the tenth most brilliant star above in this strange way. Scientists have come up with a frightening explanation based on their research which has resulted in the strange signs the star has recently shown. Scientists say that Betelgeuse could go supernova at any time. Brian Cox is a renowned scientist who made this alarming statement. As a prominent professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy, you shouldn't take his statement as a joke. He also has a science show, writes several notable science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement in Science. Brian Cox says Betelgeuse is like a ticking time bomb since it could go off at any moment. To compound the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown a massive amount of evidence to support this statement. However, what odd signs has Betelgeuse given that have caused so much concern in astronomy? Based on new information about Betelgeuse, the star has been marked as a supernova candidate. However, scientists are still unsure when it will explode. The fact that Betelgeuse is multiple times the mass of the Sun is one explanation for this. A star, in theory, should be at least eight times the mass of the Sun to be known as a supernova candidate. Things get really interesting because scientists have used many instruments to study Betelgeuse, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to observe what's happening in space around Betelgeuse. What they found is still fascinating. The Sun was born on August 31st billions of years ago. Around that time, the star Betelgeuse reportedly gave odd signs that made its future uncertain. What did they find? They could see curious light waves coming from the star or toward Betelgeuse that is very unusual. But it wasn't the only thing scientists observed from the star. This returns us to the idea that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes sometimes. It was said that Betelgeuse dimmed periodically and had dark spots much like our sun today. However, the situation has changed. It varies from bright to dim twice as quickly as it used to, which is another peculiar sign that Betelgeuse is acting strangely. Scientists found that the star's dimming cycle had hit a band of brightness of 1.61 in February 2021. This was shortly after the massive dimming event. Remember how the star seemed to dim in an odd way in 2019? That's because it is generally known as the Great Dimming. We could see that the Great Dimming was the start of Betelgeuse's strange behavior, 
which made many people worry that Betelgeuse was going to explode. The range of dimming was between 1.2 in 2019 and 2020, and the lowest level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, scientists were sure that Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years due to the great dimming. There is a lot happening in the universe, so this is truly disturbing. Scientists quickly changed their minds when they saw what happened next. Betelgeuse got brighter again after the great dimming and became even more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is currently 150% brighter than usual, making it the seventh most brilliant star in the sky right now. Scientists were alarmed when they saw a red glow in the southern hemisphere of the sky today. It still gets more interesting because this has led to a variety of theories about what caused the great dimming. It's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse indicates a red supergiant star, which is the last stage of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is surprisingly caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the surface of the Sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our Sun, it radiates less energy per unit of surface area despite being larger and on the verge of exploding. Now, we should examine what the great dimming was like. Brian Cox says, Does it suggest that Betelgeuse is going to go supernova? Actually, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant already indicates that it is nearing the end of its life as a star. A dying star will also generally dim over time, which is something that scientists agree on. However, Betelgeuse's new strange behavior has made scientists even more concerned, and many telescopes are currently focusing on the great dimming. Still, things get more intriguing because scientists don't have a deep understanding of Betelgeuse. Scientists are now using the most cutting-edge tools to monitor the fascinating things happening around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tool scientists have used so far. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped scientists glean some valuable insights about Betelgeuse. The new images of Betelgeuse's great dimming taken by this telescope have shown that the event caused a surface mass ejection. Based on new research, we now know that this mass ejection was around 400 billion times more significant than a standard CME. The James Webb Space Telescope can also observe things that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies, so scientists are excited about what the telescope will find. Scientists have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that look like leaves in space. Despite the fact that Betelgeuse will die, scientists are still watching it because they don't know when it will go supernova. Scientists estimate that Betelgeuse is multiple times more massive than the sun and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, given the many curious things happening with the star, it's hard to say if this prediction will still be valid after the great dimming data so. Scientists don't think Betelgeuse will explode anytime soon. If Betelgeuse does explode, it will be the first supernova we observe ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Scientists also don't want this to happen soon because they are still waiting to see the star's unusual behavior. Despite the fact that scientists are sure that Betelgeuse will go supernova, when exactly it will happen remains a mystery. Assuming that we examine the universe without bias, perhaps the most enthralling star and possibly the most astonishing in our sky is Betelgeuse, often referred to as Betelgeuse. This red supergiant star, if placed where the sun is, would reach Jupiter's orbit. It is immensely massive, fickle, and on the brink of an explosion. The universe doesn't work simply in such moments. Great events like feared starbursts could potentially alter everything we see. Betelgeuse has shown striking signs. A red supergiant star that is many times the size of our sun. Astronomers, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. The concern lies in the implications of this event, especially since the James Webb Space Telescope has captured alarming images of the star. When will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and what impact will it have on Earth? Let us sort out a star in the constellation or Betelgeuse shines so brilliantly that even people from a surprisingly long time ago have seen it. Countenu. Chat GPT. The prominent star Betelgeuse is located on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is the second greatest star in Orion, deriving its name from this part, known as the Beetle's shoulder. 
It is one of the most luminous stars in the night sky and stands out due to its unusual red hue, a characteristic that adds to its mystique. Betelgeuse has been observed for centuries, with early accounts noting its color. Greek scientist Tau Bra, among others, studied Betelgeuse, describing it as orange, an early attempt to understand stars based on their visible appearance. Modern astronomy has brought deeper insights into Betelgeuse's behavior, revealing it as a variable star whose brightness fluctuates significantly over time. In 2019, scientists noticed Betelgeuse behaving unusually, dimming to a magnitude of around 1.6 from its usual 0.6 brightness. This event, termed the Great Dimming, raised concerns and prompted intensive study. Astrophysicists like Brian Cox have suggested that Betelgeuse, being a red supergiant nearing the end of its life cycle, could potentially go supernova in the near future. The James Webb Space Telescope has played a crucial role in observing Betelgeuse's recent changes. It captured images showing significant mass ejections and other phenomena, providing astronomers with unprecedented data about this stellar giant. Despite its recent dimming and subsequent brightening, Betelgeuse remains under close scrutiny due to its status as a supernova candidate. The red glow emitted by Betelgeuse, indicative of its red supergiant status, is caused by a surface temperature significantly cooler than our sun's, despite its larger size. This anomaly in brightness and temperature variations adds to the intrigue surrounding Betelgeuse's behavior and its eventual fate. Scientists continue to monitor Betelgeuse with advanced instruments, hoping to unravel more mysteries about its life cycle and the potential timing of its supernova event. This ongoing research underscores Betelgeuse's significance as a celestial phenomenon that could provide valuable insights into stellar evolution and the broader dynamics of the universe. In conclusion, Betelgeuse stands out not only for its luminosity and color, but also for its unpredictable nature as it approaches a critical phase in its existence. The study of Betelgeuse exemplifies how astronomers use cutting-edge technology to explore the cosmos and deepen our understanding of stellar phenomena. Countenu, chat GPT. The fascination with Betelgeuse extends beyond its brightness and variability. As one of the largest stars known, Betelgeuse's immense size is a critical factor in its potential to go supernova. Stars like Betelgeuse, with masses several times greater than our sun, undergo complex processes as they near the end of their lives. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, has provided new insights into Betelgeuse's behavior. It has detected significant changes in the star's atmosphere, including dust formations and mass ejections, which are crucial indicators of its evolutionary stage. These observations have contributed to ongoing efforts to understand the mechanisms that drive the variability and eventual demise of massive stars like Betelgeuse. The unpredictability of when Betelgeuse will go supernova adds to its allure and scientific importance. While astronomers can make educated guesses based on observations and theoretical models, the precise timing of such an event remains uncertain. This uncertainty underscores the dynamic and evolving nature of stars and the challenges astronomers face in predicting their behavior accurately. Betelgeuse's potential supernova event would not only be a spectacular astronomical event, but also a unique opportunity for scientists to study the processes involved in stellar explosions up close. Such events provide invaluable data that can enhance our understanding of fundamental astrophysical processes and the life cycles of stars. In summary, Betelgeuse continues to captivate astronomers and enthusiasts alike with its size, variability, and imminent cosmic transformation. As technological advancements and observational capabilities improve, our understanding of Betelgeuse and its place in the universe will undoubtedly deepen, offering new insights into the complexities of stellar evolution and the broader cosmos. The ongoing study of Betelgeuse is driven by a combination of curiosity about its behavior and the potential scientific implications of its eventual supernova. As one of the brightest stars in the night sky, Betelgeuse's variability and recent dimming have sparked intense interest among astronomers worldwide. Recent observations have shown Betelgeuse returning to a brighter state after the great dimming event observed in 2019 to 2020. This resurgence in brightness has intrigued scientists and prompted further investigation into the mechanisms behind its variability. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced capabilities, continues to monitor Betelgeuse closely, 
providing high-resolution images and spectral data that offer unprecedented insights into the star's current state. Key to understanding Betelgeuse's future is its status as a red supergiant, a phase in stellar evolution characterized by instability and eventual explosive end. The mass and size of Betelgeuse make it a prime candidate for a supernova event, which would mark a significant astronomical milestone and provide scientists with a unique opportunity to study such an event in real time. The implications of Betelgeuse's potential supernova extend beyond astronomical curiosity. Supernovae are crucial for enriching the universe with heavy elements and triggering the formation of new stars and planetary systems. Studying Betelgeuse's evolution and eventual fate contributes to our broader understanding of how stars evolve, impact their surroundings, and shape the cosmos over cosmic timescales. In conclusion, Betelgeuse stands as a beacon in the night sky, both captivating and challenging scientists with its unpredictability and impending transformation. The ongoing research into Betelgeuse's variability and potential supernova exemplifies the frontiers of astrophysics, where observation, theory, and technological innovation converge to unravel the mysteries of the universe's most luminous and dynamic objects. As we continue to monitor Betelgeuse's evolution, we move closer to unlocking its secrets and expanding our knowledge of stellar life cycles and the fundamental forces that govern our universe.